Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Art of Creation Homestead. We're out here today on this beautiful Sunday. And it's time to talk about Jesus. That's what we do here on Sunday. We've been going through the book of Ephesians. And in the book of Ephesians, we're in chapter 5. One of my favorite verses <clears throat> in the whole Bible. Okay, It's very simple, but very profound all at the same time. And it's something we can all learn from. And so here we are in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1. Just be imitators of God, therefore, as dearly loved children, and live a life of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. And we'll stop right there real fast. Being an imitator of God. It, it sounds simple, right? We always say imitation is the, ser is the most sincere form of flattery. Right? So we're going, hey, we see somebody, let's be like them. We see something about that person that we like, that we emulate into our own lives. And... For some people, it could be a, an athlete or or some kind of celebrity, or or for others, it may be just a coworker that they've that they've appreciated. Like, hey, I want to be like that person. Maybe even somebody in your family, a, um, a grandparent, uh, somebody, just any. You know I mean, just anybody that you feel has got something in their life that you need to have. Well, the Bible says that we should be like that with God, to be an imitator of God, because. We should look at him and say, hey, there's something there that I need to emulate because he's got it right. And then it says, but as dearly loved children, okay, so be imitators of God, therefore, as dearly loved children. So what that's saying here is, why is that, what that's put in there for is that like, as a child, you know, you see children who are loved by their parents, who have a special bond with their parents and a small child, and then they want to do everything just like that parent. Whether it's a, uh, your mom or dad, either one, you see that and you see small children who are dearly loved by their parents, have that special bond with them, and they want to be just like them. They follow them around and they do everything like they do everything just like that. Like if we watch Andrew Griffith. Angela and I love to watch the Andrew, the Andrew Griffith show. That's probably on our TV more than anything else except for this time of year, basketball. But other than that, um, so they, like you see Opie when he's real little, there's a couple episodes where he's doing everything just like Andy. Just like Andy. He, he sees Andy lay back a certain way, he'll, he'll copy that. He sees him sit up a certain way, he'll copy him like that. A dearly loved child is doing everything just like they see their father do. Right? Just like it. So we should be like that. We should have that kind of relationship with God that we should see, we should see like ourselves acting just like God. And then so Paul goes on to talk about how we could do that, <laughs> right? So, but among you, it's tough. Among you, verse 3, there must not be even a hint of sexual immorality or of any kind of impurity or of greed, because these are improper for God's holy people. Nor should there be obscenity, foolish talk, or coarse joking, which are out of place, but rather thanksgiving. For this you can be sure, no immoral, impure, or greedy person, such a man as an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. <laughs> That's hard. <laughs> right? Because we all mess up. We do. <laughs> any kind of impurity. That's tough. Well, we're all impure people. That's why we need Jesus. <laughs> right? We all mess up. But I think, I truly think that what Paul is saying here is that like, if you if you mess up, you mess up. Okay, you, you sin, you sin, you make a mistake, and it's there's forgiveness for that, obviously, and there's forgiveness for all sin. But like at your core, if you're doing this day in, day out, and you're just being this way, no no remorse, no effort to try to be different. At your core, being your that's who you are. You're an idolater, you're an impure, you're greedy, you know, you're you're sexually immoral. If that's just who you are at your core and you're just doing that and with no remorse, hey probably not got any part in the kingdom of God <laughs> right but if you ain't because something I've always tried to live by which sometimes I've I fell more of more at it than others right strive for perfection strive for perfection try to be perfect and all that you do not gonna be let's face it you're not gonna be but if you strive for perfection when you fall short you hit excellence right but if you strive for for just being good, better than the next guy, when you fall short, you're just mediocre Joe. And I hate, I hate the idea of just being mediocre, right? 
So if you strive for perfection, you know you're going to miss that mark. You know you're going to fall short of it. Because we all fall short of the kingdom of God. We all fall short of God. Just, we do. But when you fall short, you're still, you're still pretty stinking good. Now, do you need forgiveness for, the, for your shortcoming? Yes. Okay, fair. But you're not missing them, but you're, but you're still doing really good. Right? So, we strive for perfection. As, as a child of God, we need to strive to be just like Him, which is perfect. <laughs> but understand you're not going to be. And give yourself some grace. <laughs> Allow God's grace to operate in your life. And get forgiveness from Him. Don't, don't be okay with it, but 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 it's gonna be all right i mean i think we look at this though and we see so much you're like it sounds like such a hard teaching not even a hint not even a hint of sexual immorality or of any kind of impurity or greed and we see that and you're like, well this is hard i don't, I don't understand this there's, there's all these rules in <sighs> he's not giving you rules okay What's what don't you understand here? These aren't rules. This is just simply saying that if you're living a life of love and you're trying to be like Christ and this is in your life, then this is the stuff you got to get out of there to be like Christ. Right? You see impurities and you see these things and, and well, you can't be sexual, sexually immoral and, and have a relationship with God. Okay, that's, that's, you might fall short and you might have these sexual moralities in your life, which is terrible, but hey, look around at the world and you see a whole lot of what do you see a whole lot of sexual immorality a lot of impurity a lot of greed a lot of obscenity a lot of foolish talk a lot of coarse joking you see a whole heck of a lot of that but what does he say but rather thanksgiving how much thanksgiving do you really see okay one year or one day of the year right one day of the year we have dedicated for thanksgiving lovely it's coming up congratulations we have a day for thanksgiving right yeah one day but we got 364 days for sexual immorality, impurity, greed, by the way, which is what Christmas turned into be, just greed. Hey, here's my Amazon wish list, right? <sighs> Forget it. Let's stop that stupid stuff. Okay, I'm, you know, I'm stuck boxing. Sorry, here we go. Stop that stupid stuff. You don't need a stinking Amazon wish list to tell everybody what, what they need to give you to celebrate the birth of Jesus. That's ignorant. Okay? What you do need <laughs> is to quit thinking about your dang self. Live a life of love and be thankful that we're here, that we, that, we, that we have breath of life, that we can celebrate the birth of Jesus. Okay, yes, that's, that's exactly right. Quit it. Quit asking for junk. Quit asking for stuff. Quit filling your, your life with things for yourself. And live a life of love with thanksgiving in your, in your heart. Then, you can, then you'll be an imitator of God. Yes, we all have stuff. We all need to be able to live and it's okay to have things whatever but you can't fill yourself with all this stuff that's that's where our impurities and our greed comes in as we're looking in instead of out but being an imitator of god therefore as a dearly loved child a dearly loved children live a life of love just as christ loved us and gave himself up for us now i know that can sound really hard can sound really harsh right sometimes we need to kick in the pants for ourselves and know that we gotta be more like jesus and less like us plain and simple and that's that should be our goal this week this every day more like jesus less like me just simple uh zach williams one of my favorite uh, christian artists he has a song less like me just be a little more like jesus less like me that's what we need every day more like him less like me so that's our goal this week. That's our goal tomorrow, the next day, the next day, the next day, every day. So thank, thank you guys so much for watching. We do appreciate it. Uh, you got any praise reports, prayer requests, or comments? Leave them below. We'd love to hear from you and pray for you. My name is Jason. This is Art of Creation Homestead. We love y'all. God bless you. Goodbye.